Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia uh, Season 5 Episode number 60. Uh, Alright, uh, the previous episode, we uh, saw how Endeavor works. You know, we saw him directly in action. Uh, all like, you know, Todoroki, Bakugo and Deku, three of them were there. And uh, Endeavor has kind of, uh, like, you know, given them a little challenge. A challenge which says that uh, you need to capture a villain before me. Uh, within the time that you'll be like you know doing your internship with me so that will be interesting to see actually that they they're not only going to have to fight against endeavor to uh, you know capture a villain quickly but they'll also have to like you know battle it out against each other like there are two other persons uh, you know, beside the uh, like you know to, like Todoroki will have to also fight against Bakugo and uh, Deku and vice versa so It'll be interesting to see who actually, you know, is able to catch a villain before Endeavor. And I'm sure, like, you know, a time will come when all of them will be able to do that properly. And a lot of tips uh, Endeavor gave, uh, you know, uh, Deku as well. And, uh, you know, a lot of things we saw. Like, it, it was like a, basically a, 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 an episode where we saw where new type of skills that they would be able to learn learning under and uh, endeavor and he's definitely uh, a top-notch hero he is a genius of hard work as they call you know and uh, yeah it, it, it would be great especially for deku because deku would be able to learn a lot of new things uh, because he and endeavor are kind of similar like you know in a way they like you know do their like, bring uh what do you call it result by hard work so yeah and also a little bit of uh, like you know thing that's happening with the liberation army we also saw and uh, how uh, hawks is interacting with them kind of acting as a double agent in a way but still working for the hero association and uh, yeah it like you know there, this that's a completely another thing so let's see what happens how this escalates so yeah guys without further ado let's get started this is episode number 16 of my hero academia so uh, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> okay. Wait, didn't this happen before? Am I watching the correct episode? What's happening? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> it was part of the recap. I was thinking like, what the hell? Didn't we see this? Oh. Alright. We're getting more information. How <laughs> much? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, okay, both of them. What the? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Wait, how does that have any... Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I guess this is also part of... Yeah. I'm sure they, they, they're going to do a lot of hard work after that. I'm sure. <laughs> okay.
Okay. <clears throat> Damn, this this opening is oh. Well, obviously this man with a mission. A lot of things are happening at the same time. I have to say, like the whole League of the Villains, then the Liberation Army, and like you know the internship. Like damn. <laughs> Like, one thing that's very concerning is uh, Hawks, you know? Like, he is treading a very fine line. Like, any day he can get caught. And, like, you know, he, he's in the midst of so many villains. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Dragon. Dragon. Gufflin. Wildfire. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, okay. That one. Chemical storage. Oh, oh, maybe the villains did it. I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay. I. Whoa. <laughs> oh boy oh no i'm having a yeah oh no i'm having a bad oh he's using the drug great Whoa, that's a uh, work, I guess. Yeah, so I'm guessing they are also transporting that in. The, yeah, in the thing behind that there. Yeah. Ooh, something's fishy. Oh, are they gone? What the hell? They're they're gone. How the Um I'm guessing Yeah. Yeah, but they'll then lose them if if they okay we need other heroes yeah <laughs> number 10 oh okay that's perfect uh she was also there isn't she oh there you go yeah she is here All right, this will be good. Oh, Neji is also here. Okay. Yeah. That's enough backup, I guess. Okay, we're going to see this. All right, all right, interesting. 
we'll be focusing on this today. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Ah, I should have seen that coming. All right. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is this some kind of a bait, I'm guessing? I think so. Uh, oh, okay, that's why, all right. I guess, like... Well, you need to squeeze in a beach episode whenever there's an opportunity, you know? You, you should definitely do that. <laughs> that's rule number one of anime. <laughs> okay. All right, let's... <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. I don't think so. Okay, maybe. All right. Yeah, this is a normal, what do you call it? Like the normal state of our, okay, they're here. Hmm. Not a lot of them, I think. Three of them. Damn. Well, yeah, you will have to rely on that because Nejire is there, Ryu, like, you know, like a lot of like, strong people are there. Each and every one of them. Hmm. All right. All right, let's go. Well, this is, I'm, I'm guessing this is really very one-sided because like, you know, like, yeah, Nejire and like so many of them are here. Like she can literally turn into a dragon. Like, <laughs> like, you know, what else do you need? <laughs> And Nature is the number, like, you know, one of the top heroes. Shockwaves. Hmm. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> All right. Got it seal. Oh, okay. Kind of like floppy, you know? Okay, so through Morse code, she, he's going to let the other, like, you know, uh, let them know where the criminals are. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Smoke screen. There are, how many of them are there? Three of them? Okay, there it is. There you go. You're busted. All right, let's go. This most screen won't work here because they're underwater. All right. One feet. <laughs> Smoke skin won't work. Let's go. But they'll probably have a little bit of problem. But they can see the smoke, you know? So they can kind of understand. <laughs> well. <laughs> wow. It won't work because there's literally people underwater. <laughs> and they're high up in the sky. All right. All right. Okay. There you go. <laughs> they themselves cannot see now. Wow, wow, okay. <laughs> wow, this is straight out of some kind of horror movie. Yo, there you go, one down. Okay. Um, what about the other two? Okay. All right, he caught another one. Oh, they're trying to run away. Yeah, that won't work. Ah, damn. Okay, another one is probably running away. Uh, we need to stop them. Yeah, yeah, they can, they can spot. Whoa, that's not a, that's an airplane. Um. Oh. Yeah, I also thought that was the cargo. Well. Okay. Well, Ryu, Ryukyu and, yeah, Neji are there. Can they not? Yeah, they can do it. I'm, I'm guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. Ah. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe Uralaka can do something. All right. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, oh, that was what it was. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh no, it's this. Um, you, you can use your gravity to. Mm, yeah, that won't work. Like, can she just like take uh, the the villain and I? I think he probably won't be able to do it. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the cargo is in there. Okay. I, oh, that's why. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that they can grab it or something. Oh. Maybe the cargo only. Maybe the cargo only. Okay. Not. Okay. I guess that reduced the or. Okay. All right. All right. There you go. Okay, that worked. Hmm. <laughs> All right. There you go. Yes! Wait, what's that? <laughs> Barbecue time! <laughs> oh, alright. Okay. Hmm. What's he on? Oh. Oh wait, really? <laughs> I've come to realize that recently. <laughs> but yeah, but 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 it's it's his, you know? <laughs> okay well yeah that was like a little uh, i'm guessing a break episode as you you can say and we also got to see what uraraka and like you know uh suyu is are doing and maybe we'll see some like you know like we're probably going to get to back to deku um todorok and bakugo in the next episode and maybe like you know again in after two or three episodes we're probably going to see some other um you know some other uh student were doing their internship or something just like this episode so yeah
All right. That, oh, there's something else. All right. So they they would bring it over here. What? Who the hell is this now? All right. Okay, that's the end. Okay, so this episode, uh, this was, as I said, like eh, this is like a little break episode, you can call it. Like you know, we saw a little bit of uh, uh, thing that was happening with uh, Uraraka and uh, Suyu, and also we got to see, you know, a little like you know, uh, had a little bit of a <laughs> beach episode, and uh, we captured some criminals. That was basically it. That was this episode, and uh, we also saw. Uh, Uraraka's new costume and the you know what it is used for and uh, like in the beginning I was thinking like why did she like you know change her costume he said something like because of that like you know she was thinking about Deku's that portion where Deku uh, lost control of his power and like you know like I, I thought that okay maybe that was the relation why she changed her costume and but I still was unable to understand why she did that uh, like you know like because of Deku getting berserk uh, why for that reason did she change her costume but in the end we can, I can kind of understand now because the costume has a built-in thing of uh, uh, what do you call it a little uh, you know, what what are they actually called those things that kind of go out and capture and you can like you know like use it uh, the, the, the thing that Uraraka used uh, it has that built-in function so that I'm guessing like it's simply helpful in a lot of ways because first of all she uses gravity so she can basically like you know um, use that and like you know in a lot of ways that normal people won't be able to use it it'll be very helpful to capture criminals who are as we saw in this episode like who are kind of like at a distance and you need to gain like you know uh, <clears throat> some distance quickly it will help in that way so so that's one thing and that th that was like the main thing uh, i'm guessing of her uh, costume i'm not sure if there are some other hidden um, you know like uses or something uh, if there are we'll probably see them later on but yeah anyways okay so here uh, we see some old faces uh, selkie you know and uh, what was her name i think her name was serious wasn't it yeah uh, both of them and in the beginning, I was kind of uh, a bit afraid when they were tackling the criminals by themselves because I thought something bad might happen. Because if you remember, there, like you know, in a lot of previous episodes, we see some heroes actually trying to take down some villains but getting badly beaten. Especially, you, you remember that person? Uh, I can't remember his name. He used some sand quirk or something. You know, he was uh, chasing the truck. I think it was in season. Or, or was it season three but you know uh, and like the villains kind of uh completely like you know injured him and i think she, he was killed most probably so, like you know these kind of uh, situations kind of make me a little bit uh concerned and i was concerned about them because they are we, we've kind of spent time with them and they're kind of uh characters that we know personally so, but in the end, like, you know, the, these, the, the villains were not even that much strong. They just were very proficient in running away. That was basically it with them. So I doubt they would have any problem even if they went, like, you know, went in themselves, like Sirius and um, Selkie. If both of them, uh, like, you know, tried to fight with them, they would have easily won. But still, we, at that moment, we still did not know what their strength was. So that was, I, that, I was a little bit concerned then. But then uh, it comes, like, you know, it turns out that they have asked for more reinforcement and, like, you know, thankfully it was Froppy and Uraraka, Ryuku as well. So there are, like, a lot of strong people in that team, like Ryuku, uh, Nejire, Uraraka, Froppy, all of them. So, like, obviously, like, at that moment I realized that, yeah, <laughs> they'll have no problem catching them. The main problem was that the villains were running away very easily because of that smoke screen thing. Uh, they were just good at running away that was basically it and uh, yeah all right okay then <clears throat> oh and then we get a, <laughs> a beach episode i was not expecting that at all suddenly like that 
but you know as 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 i said um like you should definitely squeeze in a beach episode when there is a uh, chance to you know like this this episode had a chance they were in 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 the in front of the uh, sea <laughs> so yeah a beach episode there you go okay but that was a very short beach episode still it, it was appreciated all right and then we get to the mm, main portion of fighting the villains now, one thing I actually, like, you know, I've realized it a lot long ago as well. I'm sure a lot of you guys have realized. But uh, one thing that My Hero Academia does very well is uh, the planning and the teamwork. You know, like, they are very, what can I say, step by step done. Like, here, as we saw, like, you know, there, there was, like, a scout team, which was comprised of Ryukyu and Nejire. They were from, you know, seeing everything from top. Then they, like, you know, Selkie with Froppy went underwater and uh, Selkie used the Morse code, uh, his, uh, you know, quirk to actually let Sirius know and Sirius could, like, track down the actual position and Sirius can use her uh, walkie-talkie to let Ryukyu and ne Nejira know as well. Like, this was, like, all step-by-step step done in a very well manner. Like, not only this episode, you know, every episode, wherever there's, like, a... Uh, operation going on like this like the the the, the teamwork and the step-by-step -step application of uh what do you call it uh like step-by-step -step application is done very well and i i feel like that's like one of my Hero academia's biggest plus points because they are able to make a plan and like you know everything is uh, carried out in well-fashioned manner you know a very disciplined way like there's like you know there's like always a big plan and if, like, you know, if sometimes, like, within that plan, uh, like, exceptions might occur, like, you know, like there are obviously, like, plans kind of, there are a few plans which kind of don't work as they were intended to. But still, like, you know, making out a plan and, like, doing it like this is very, like, you know, interesting and very, like, you know, entertaining to watch. Because every character had their role to play. Um, <clears throat> Uh, mm, Selkie and Froppy, they were like you know, Selkie was the main person who let them know where the location is, and because they're underground, most skin won't work on him. And uh, Froppy was there to fight, um, Sirius was there to actually listen to the sonar and use her walkie talkie to let Ryukyu and Nejire know. Ryukyu and Nejire were like the uh, scouts, uh, you know, uh, on, in the sky, and Uraka was there for some emergency, like you know. Uh, purposes because as we saw by the end of it the the thing kind of went a little bit different than we expected it to they had a plane stored away within within which there was the where the cargo was there so that was like the exception that occurred and it completely would have thrown the plan off the rails but uraka was there and she like handled it properly so that's like you know that's one thing that I, I've always seen like you know in, not only in this episode and most of the episodes they have like a proper built out plan and they like you know like everything is done in a very disciplined and well organized manner. Anyways, all right, and then we get to the boat uh, or ship. Selk is strong, pretty damn strong. So he took them like you know the two of them down very easily, and one, another one of them was going to like you know inject them themselves with the drug. Selkie stopped him, but I doubt even if he was able to inject himself, I doubt Selkie would have had any problem to stop him, you know, so yeah. And then the, the villains weren't even able to use their quirk properly, like before even they used their quirk, they were all taken down. <laughs> like this guy who used the smoke screen, he himself was confused in his own smoke screen. He was like, oh my god, I can't see anything. And Selkie being the like, you know, person, like having the quirk that he has, he used it to completely map the place and he didn't even need his visual, like, you know, um, what do you call it? Like, you know, he didn't even need any visual confirmation. He could just make out where the person was, where the villain was, and he you know, apprehended him. And then, like, you know, the other person who was in the, uh, uh, you know, who was uh, moving the ship, who was piloting the ship, he didn't even get any chance to use his work and, uh, the other person who was on the airplane, Uraka, he also did not have any chance to use his work. Uraka just stopped him then and there. So yeah, <laughs> that was a very one-sided uh, match. 
all right and then obviously like you know the, the plane goes off uraraka also takes off in that little thing that uh sirius used to launch her up in the air and then she used her newest acquired gadget i'm guessing uh inbuilt gadget with her costume to latch onto the airplane get in use her gravity power <laughs> and use her martial arts technique to stop stop the guy and now this you know like he she could have one thing she could have done is only float the you know use gravity uh, her gravity work on the cargoes it would have been a lot less you know uh heavier but i i'm, I'm not sure like you know like who knows maybe there was some kind of problem like something probably would have happened if she tried to do like that it would have been a lot I, i'm guessing it would take a bit of time and they don't ha they didn't have that time because the, the plane was just going down they needed to stop that as quick as possible so using her work on the criminal who was unconscious and also on the uh, cargo i'm guessing it would, have, it would have taken quite a bit of time and he, she did not have that time so that's why like you know she had to use it on use her work on the whole airplane <clears throat> excuse me and making the airplane weightless made it very easy for ryukyu to gain the like, you know speed momentum and uh catch the plane she is a dragon she she's easily capable of like you know catching a plane and, and carrying a plane and nejira also helped where she used her um what, what was it oh, i forgot her quirk's name anyways when she used her quirk to actually uh i'm guessing she did that to actually stable the plane you know that the plane was like kind of uh, going down all, almost so used she used her quirk to stable the plane to take like you know give it a little bit of a balance so that uraraka can you know control it a little bit more better so yeah that was basically a, a really like you know well executed teamwork and uh yeah, it all worked out well by the end of it. Uh, but Uraraka still has her, you know, vomiting problem. She kind of throws up <laughs> whenever she uses much of her quirk. But yeah, that was just a part of it. And then they have the bar barbecue party on the beach again. And yeah, everything is all well and good. Now, we got another information is that these people, they were using, like, you know, the cargo that was stolen. They were transporting it to Europe. And, uh... The last scene, I think that was probably the person who asked for the um, drug to be uh, delivered to them. And he said something like, we have enough, we don't need that anymore. So, now, one thing. Is he, is he also part of the Liberation Army or something? I'm not sure. Uh, either that or either he, or he's probably a part of the villain group. So, damn, this is like going in a whole international... Uh, like you know like i thought everything was, would probably be confined to japan but i'm guessing this is not it like there's a lot more happening in the back background along with the whole thing that's happening with the villain group and the liberation group as well so yeah okay that's uh, a new thing that we got to know here and we didn't even get to see the face of the person but anyways i'm sure we'll get more questions answered as we go on yeah, he, the guy had a mustache, as, as far as I could make out. And she has a, uh, he has a, like a, like huge earrings and a little beard. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so yeah, that was it. That was, um, this episode. This was a, a good episode to see what was happening outside, like, you know, uh, of, you know, like, what can I say, like, what were happening to the other heroes so how they were doing and we got to see like you know one portion here like uraraka uh, and froppy's portion maybe later on we're probably going to see some other heroes doing their internship you know like uh, kirishima tetsu tetsu and amajaki are also working under fatcom so we might see that who knows but that's probably in the future because I i'm sure we'll, we're probably going to get back into deku todoroki and uh bakugo in the next ep from the next episode and endeavor like you know training them so yeah most probably so let's see let's just wait for it so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to my hero academia season 5 episode number 16 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction 
be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was uh, my hero academia season 5 episode number 16 i'll see you guys next week with another my hero academia episode so until then goodbye and have a nice day